You've written on the Coney 2012 video, the phenomenon, mm -hmm. the subsequent controversy. This, of course, was a video about Joseph Coney and the Lord's Resistance Army in Central Africa, which went viral and, by all accounts, uh, at least was open by 100 million people. As someone yeah. on your own blog, that's yeah. whether they watched the whole 30 minutes. However, the call to action day on April 20th, where people were supposed to uh, plaster many cities with posters to make Mr. Coney famous, seemed mm -hmm. largely to have failed. Mm -hmm. um, what's your reading of this phenomenon, um, and what do you think it holds for the understanding of complex mm -hmm. crises mm -hmm. in Africa and elsewhere? Well, I think there are two dimensions to that. I mean, one is in terms of the content of the video and so on, it's obviously highly problematic in terms of what it says about Kony, the LRA, Uganda, uh, and how it feeds into uh, kind of a stereotypical representation of Africa and our relationship to it and interventions that might or might not take place. So in terms of that content, kind of problematic. Um, what I'm interested in and about it though, and people sort of tended to dismiss the way it circulated and talked about the idea of slacktivism and collectivism and how this was insufficient and so on and so forth. I, I was a little more positive about that mm. because I thought you have to understand that process as someone still has to pay attention for a period of time. They have to want to pass it on. They have to want to recommend it. They have to want to open it and then they have to want to be engaged for 30 minutes to watch it. Mm. And although I wish they were able to watch something better about Coney and the LRA in that situation, if we think about this circumstance as something that tells us something about how people do engage those issues, then I think we can learn the way in which social media can get stories about distant places to people who wouldn't otherwise necessarily care about them. And it also, I think, demonstrates actually that people do care or at least have a, a potential for interest that we tend to think has disappeared in the contemporary period.